Hey everybody, it's Jimmy Moog. I am here to show you around my latest map and my submission for the uh, Fortnite uh, Fort Nightmares event. And it's called What Lay Beneath. It's a narrative-driven horror map. Uh, it was done by Callie Bell and myself, my partner on everything. And uh, let's go ahead and get in there. All right, so you know we got both of our our tags in there, Cali Bell, Jimmy Moog. Uh, if you can use either of those codes in the item shop, that would be a huge help to us, and allow us to put out more maps like this. Um, but uh, here we go, let's get into it. So with this map, I wanted to make a story-based map because I've seen a lot of uh, horror maps and a lot of them rely on jump scares, and I've seen some really really amazing jump scares but we start out we don't know where we are can't see anything we uh wake up inside an abandoned hospital somebody's telling us a bunch of stuff telling us not to try and get out right now telling us that uh he's going to be doing a performance review so that must be our job um why are we in an abandoned hospital not really sure why how did we get locked in here again not entirely sure but uh just kind of take a look around right quick now uh, all the all the art design and everything is done by Callie Bell she is fantastic she makes my maps look good all the lighting and everything all the way down this very dark and not at all foreboding hallway and we see a police taped off area so we decide we're gonna get a closer look see what's going on in there and all of a sudden that area is gone and we can't even get back to it if we want to. If you were counting as I walked by, we are missing a bed. And we have gained an extra wall, and somebody yelled at us to get out of there. So, obviously somebody doesn't want us poking around in there. So we'll head back out, see what we can figure out about what was going on with all that. And if we take a look, this computer has turned on all of a sudden. So, have a look at that in a moment. I did want to take a second, though. Like I said, I wanted a more of a story-based map. I wanted something that would kind of, you know, get under your skin, kind of creep you out more than make you jump in your seat. So, let's have a look at that email, then. And, let's see, looks like somebody is gossiping to Stacy about that new girl named Chrissy right there, so... She stuck her head in the no admittance section. That would be no admittance. So we're right back here where those beds were, that testing equipment. And so she got caught. She starts worrying about how she might lose her job. She seems like they weren't too happy catching her snooping around back there. This must be Chrissy's desk. And we look, it looks like something happened here. Chairs knocked over jewelry scattered on the floor attacked from behind maybe but where would they come from you know is, is there a secret passage or something so we take a closer look and we heard a noise what well, that noise could have been so let's take a look and all of a sudden we have an evil laugh and a ghost girl staring through the window at us but uh yeah we definitely want to look around want to look for a um Look for a light or something, and if you notice, like I said, Callie's great at using lighting to kind of accent where you need to go without making it too obvious, so search the storage container here. Ah, there, a flashlight. Okay, that will help us, and... Okay, things just went kind of crazy right here. Um, we take a look. All ghost girls gone, but I feel like... She is still making her presence felt at the moment, and something has lit up that ha wasn't lit up before. So, a few things to pay attention to in this map. Lighting. Lights are always important, especially when you see lights appearing where they weren't before. That should tell you maybe you should have a look. Um, pay attention to all of the text, because the, there are multiple different characters. They all have their own text style, so... Uh, Anytime you see different text on the map, that's a different character talking. It might be you, it might be your boss from earlier, it might be whoever was yelling at us to get out of that one area. So, try and figure out what they were doing here. Take a look at this equipment. 
Oh, Bossman is back. I just noticed Midas' uh, little earpiece glows. That's kind of cool. Never saw that before. But, uh, so he wants us to get upstairs and clean the hospital. Maybe, maybe we are a janitor. Let's have a look. Police tape's back, although it moved. That's interesting. Nobody's kicking us out of there right now. So, let's head back. Back to this way. Now, I wanted the whole map to take place basically in the same location. But, if you notice, subtle things keep changing. Like, uh, if you pay careful attention, you might notice entire walls move sometimes. And uh, there's just small changes as the map progresses. But uh, we start looking around and... Wait, speaker, what speaker? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that wasn't there. And we hear a faint voice coming, so let's see what the voice has to say. Okay. All right, he's, he's got our attention. Yep, that's us. Creepy room, definitely. Okay, so it sounds like the other guy is probably his boss. And he tells us, we don't work here, not a janitor. We were actually a patient at the hospital, which is odd. Nobody knew we were here. Perfect for her. Who? Her? Yes, yes, we did. She was right there. Not there anymore. Okay, so he says she's evil. He says he never hurt anybody. He only did what he had to. The boss leaves people down here for her sometimes. That kind of makes it sound like the boss makes him leave people down here for her sometimes. And he told us to stay out of that back hallway, so... This is probably the guy who drugged us and left us down here, sealed in a basement, for a vengeful ghost to get us. Uh, not, you know, maybe, maybe not the guy we should be taking ad advice from. Maybe the, not the guy we need to listen to. But he did tell us that the boss has been lying to us the whole time, too, so... Now, all of a sudden, handy-dandy light is indicating the pearls again. So, let's see... So, the closer inspection, it looks like they're real. So why would they just be laying here? Uh, I'm going to take a moment to ponder, let you ponder on that and just talk a little more. Um, like I said, when I did this, I wanted it to be very narrative driven. You know, kind of tried to find ways to, uh, of course, we had to involve gameplay in the map as well. Had to have a... a great uh, setting for it, and I feel like Callie really knocked that out of the park with this uh, this area, this idea I had about having just a single room that keeps changing, and actually, you know, it was a, a series of a couple rooms is what it wound up being, because that's what happens with ideas, they usually kind of mutate and evolve as you develop them, but, um, but yeah, she did a fantastic job with this creepy sealed off hospital wing or basement or whatever it was. Looks like it was probably a reception area at one point out front here. That's where that's where Chrissy and her gossipy co-worker worked. Um but uh but yeah like I said I just I wanted something that was more more kind of creepy, more, you know, engaged you on a on a more subtle level instead of just making you jump back periodically and uh, I will say that with my game testers for the map, um, I found them, I, I, I had them asking me questions about the story, you know, the story was kind of key, the story was the main thing that everything revolved around, and it even evolved as we developed the map into what it wound up being, but uh, like I said, they're asking me questions for hours, even days afterward, about, you know, well, what happened to this character, or how did they wind up there, or, you know, why why <laughs> why did all this happen the way it did and sometimes it's sometimes it's more fun not to have all those answers although if any of you play this map and you're really interested to know more about the story i might be persuaded to uh develop that out a little more and put it out in a way that uh you know you could get some more answers so so let me know drop a comment you know hit me up on twitter uh callie's and my twitter handles are in the uh in the um uh, pre-game lobby, you know, just let me know if you enjoyed it, if you didn't, uh, if it worked for you, if it, uh, if it kept you up at night, that would be awesome, because that's what I was hoping for, uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and check on those pearls, and 
somebody new. And if you're paying attention, like I said earlier, this is the person who yelled at us to get out of that back area. And her name's Chrissy, i.e. the person who got attacked and apparently vanished. She looks like she did not survive that vanishing either, so... But she is a troubled spirit. She has something we need to do for her. And that's the broken string of pearls. And I see something right over thereabouts. Still had one. Find my missing pearl. Looks like we might have a winner. So let's take a look. There's the pearl. Let's set Chrissy free and we can go home happier and healthier for having helped a troubled spirit move on into the next realm. And out. Uh, wait. Um, that doesn't look friendly. Let's just start moving back this way. And now she's gone. Where'd she go? Let's just go out. Okay, and now there's a blank wall and everything's on fire. Time to get out of here. Let's run down the endless hallway. And, uh, I do want to stop running just for a moment to, um, point out I, I composed that little riff right there that, uh, went along with Chrissy's first real appearance in the map, um, and, uh, I was kind of, kind of, you know, I went into it with John Carpenter's Halloween theme, kind of that little synthy sound, and, and, uh, you know, I wasn't trying to actually copy what he did, but just sort of do something inspired by that. I really liked how it turned out, and it also turned out it blended really well with the background music we chose for the whole level, so I thought that was pretty cool how it all kind of came together in that little moment right there. But anyway, let's keep moving down the hallway. And we are in a blank room all of a sudden. And now we're falling into some kind of horrifying flamescape. And there's our ghost girl, and what the heck is going on? Okay. Well, I kind of did before. Don't so much now. You're calling me an idiot. That's, that's hurtful. Um, you're right, I am stuck in a pit. Definitely can't do much for myself. I can't even turn my flashlight off. Um, oh, so it looks like the guy she's mad at is the same guy who told us we were a janitor. I can, I can, you know, I can identify. I don't like being told I'm a janitor. We got spooky eyes. I'm getting out of here. Yes, definitely. I, I wholeheartedly agree with our character here. It's time to get out. And we heard a fax machine. Yep, there we go. Here's a fax. Okay. Once again, bright lights mean, or not always bright lights, mean something's going on. So let's read the fax. Okay. Maybe I can bust my way out if I follow these steps. Find the four ingredients on those shelves. Remember, we had the shelves back in the back room there. Uh, they're in some sort of code. I need to get the right ones. And then R3 and some very odd little things there. I'm going to pause a moment and I'm gonna let you know this is a completely solvable code I actually did come up with ingredients they're all they're all completely made up because I don't want to give anybody any ideas on how to really do anything that could cause any kind of destruction but uh, this is an actual code and if you recognize what it's telling you to do and you solve it you will get the answer right there Otherwise, you know, you can try trial and error, or you can just keep watching this video. So anyway, let's head back to our shelves now. This is what happens. You go and you pick your ingredient. You hear a happy sound there. If you pick the right one. If you pick a wrong one. We hear a not so happy sound, and it tells us we have to start over. And that's the way it works. If you guess the wrong ones, it will reset, and you can only finish the puzzle by picking the correct four ingredients. So, Mastler, Ketanol, Reflin, and Veresta. Now we need something to wrap this up in. Let's see, we got, we got a bunch of beds, a bunch of sheets, angry ghosts. Let's not head down that way. Got a bag, got a chair, got creepy experimental hospital beds. We've got uh, an angry ghost seems to be taking out her frustration on the cause of her demise. So let's just keep moving. Towels. Towels will work to wrap something up in. There we go. 
all set. Let's see, where should we put it? What would be a good place to bust ourselves out? I don't want to get too close to Ghost Girl, so maybe maybe we head over this lot. All of a sudden, we can't get back in that bathroom. That seems mighty suspicious. So, so nowhere else to go but back here. Don't really want to. Wait, what was that? Sounded like a door opening. Like maybe the only door in the entire map opening. And lighting up blue. Blue is good. Blue is our color. Let's head towards it. Let's head in that bathroom. Let's plant that implement and see if it'll help us bust out of here. There we go. And she's free. And the bathroom's gone. And we are in a nightmare scape. She can go anywhere she wants to. Why do I feel like this was not a good thing we did here? And her pet is... Yep, giant monster. There we go. Victory. Or is it? Alright, everybody. Well, that was the playthrough. That's my map. A uh, little bit more, you know, a little bit of insider information about it. A um, couple tips to get you through. But I uh, really appreciate you playing through the map with me. I uh, appreciate your support and uh, any feedback you have. You know, like I said, if you want to know more about the story, drop me a line. Let me know. If I hear enough, I might be prompted to do something. Then uh, I will uh, I will post on Twitter when I do a follow-up. Maybe I'll even make a, a follow-up map. Maybe, you know, we'll, we'll be going through the hospital proper and uh, maybe, you know, somebody else will be joining us. But anyway, again, Hit us up on Twitter. Leave us a comment on this video. Thanks so much for playing. If you use our code to support us, I really appreciate it. Or if you don't want to use ours, you know, make sure you're supporting somebody because it doesn't cost you a thing and it helps out a creator and the whole creative community benefits every time you use a code. So we really appreciate it. Hope you have a good night and sweet dreams.